So I made this pretty cool looking flame asset actually just from this video I took of flames and this is a very high contrast video which means that um, you can remove the uh, black backgrounds very easily in Blender. So it's easy to do, you just take a video of some flames, anything you want really, and you just turn the contrast down so all you can really see is just the light from the flames. And then you import your footage as a plane into Blender and in rendered view you can see that we have this uh, this image here. So in the shader editor, I'm going to turn on cyclic so our video keeps repeating over and over again. And I'm going to plug the color into the alpha, which means the black will be transparent now. And I'm going to add in a color ramp so we can really control just how um, transparent the background is. So I'm going to drag up the black level a little bit here so it looks a bit better. Cool. And then I'm going to plug the color into the emission to give it some nice glow. And uh, you might not notice anything right off the bat, but um, you can go and turn on bloom and some of the other effects in the render properties tab. And once you do that, you can turn up the uh, emission strength to really have some more uh, bloom and brightness on your flames. Yeah, and that looks pretty cool. But I want to fill this out a little bit more. So back in edit mode, I am going to slide this whole thing up so it's level. And I'm going to just shift D to duplicate it around the axis a bunch of times to kind of fill out a nice fire. However, this doesn't look very good. It's really, really uniform and it looks like it's mirrored. So I'm going to actually go and I'm going to change the orientation from global to normal. So that way, if we select faces, you can see that the uh, the orientation is aligned to those faces. So I'm going to just uh, I'm going to flip some of these faces so they're inverted, and now it's looking a bit more random. However, it's really uniform still. So I'm going to go back into edit mode, and I'm going to make sure to change back into global orientation, and I'm going to just uh, scale some of these uh, flame pieces up or down just a little bit to give it some randomness. And when you're done with that, um, it, it looks pretty cool. Like, it's not 100% amazing, but just for a background of a scene, it would be fine. It's passable, and it looks pretty nice.